hello lovelies and welcome once again to Brina creations channel um, my name is Oge and I'm reaching from Abuja Nigeria in today's video we're going to be meal prepping or should I say ingredient prepping for the week as you some of you may already know I have a full-time job and this is are the things that I do to help my life to make it easier on me during the week okay so I have my onions going I've already washed this and peeled them and I'm going to use them for my um, tomato mix as well as for some of the things I'm cooking today. Here I have my frozen plant pineapple back. I want to use this for my zobo. I the ones I got from the market are not yet ripe, so I can't use them. So I have to use these ones from the freezer. I usually store them if I'm not ready to make my zobo. I have here my pepper and crayfish mix. I usually um, grind my pepper and crayfish in my food processor. Just so that um, I don't want it smoothly blended, so that if I'm in the morning cooking in the morning, I don't have to, you know, start pounding or start looking for blender to blend and all of that stuff. So that's what I do. I'm going to be using this to cook, and the remaining I'll be freezing. Had it been I didn't have this, I would have been making this. I think I've already made something like this. One of my videos, I'll try to link that in the description or up above the video. Here is my stew base. I do stew base every time. And since I started to make this stew base, my life has been made a lot easier. This is contains tomatoes, tatashe, tin tomatoes, um, onions, um, oil for frying, and some onga stew. Just um, basic, nothing extra. And I want to use it for my stew. As you can see, I've already taken from it. I took from it to make my beans and yeah i'm going to be using this one this leftover one to make my stew i still have some sitting in the freezer otherwise i would have made one if i have the time i'll make another one today but um i was very tired from yesterday and i want to just minimize what i'm doing today so this is okra i'm going to be cutting this and then this ogo i got just a little bit i want to, and then smoke panla and then um iru. i want to make just a quick just a quick um okra soup because my children love the cross soup a lot and the one I had from the last batch cooking I had is already finished so don't worry the ugu is still cool by the time I put water it will rise up again from the dead <laughs> so I'm going to be putting some of this and this in it I like the flavor that it gives just simple basic um, okra soup this is my zobo leaves this is my zobo leaf um, I have here. I put this in this kind of bowl, but my children have poured it. This is cloves, or these are cloves. Yeah, and this is the zobo leaf. I want to cook with this ginger. You know, we don't like to waste around here. I bought this fresh, but because I didn't get to use them soon enough, they have dried out. And we don't like to waste, so I'm going to be using, I don't know if I'm going to use all. But I'll be using um, these dried ones for my zobo with that pineapple back. Here I have, as you already guys guys already know, tomato is very expensive now. So this is dried to tomatoes. When you're trying to cut cost, this is one way to go. Another option is to use your um, um, carrot to to cook this. So this is the only downside to this is that it contains a lot of stone because of course I didn't dry them by myself. Had it been I had um a dryer i would have done tomato powder and that would make it easier but this one contains a lot of sand so we're going to be washing all of that i don't know if i'm going to show you the process but we'll see how that goes i i made a video by the way of how to do this with the tatashi and everything else and i'll be linking that if should in case i don't show if you do a video of this um, me washing it yeah it's very affordable. This smoothie costs 2,000 naira and it's an equivalent of a whole bean basket of tomato which goes for about 10,000 naira. Um, I'm going to be combining this one with this. This is shombo. I got just a little bit shombo. I still have some of them here that I've not finished um, opening. I'll be cleaning. I still have tatashi here. I still, all this tatashi. I got a basket of tatashi yesterday for 6,000 naira and shombo 2,000 naira. And the other tatashi I got are unripe ones. I want to use my ayamase and I've just prepped it by just, I didn't have the time to, you know, grind and everything. So I just put it in my pot and cooked it down. Yeah, so I'm going to be combining all of this with the onions for today's video. And um, 
here maybe i'll add my spring rolls i still have some free from my freezer but it's either i add it or i'll just freeze this then when i need to i'll take i have my beans it's about 10 cups of beans you can see these are pepper dry pepper that i put inside to help preserve the beans the reason i soak this is to one remove the gas and two it rises it's more like doubles in size and then it saves you a lot of money too and then apart from rising and bloating it also reduces the cooking time by up to 50 percent then here i have my ginger and garlic these are the fresh ones from the other ginger i showed you these ones do not dry completely but they are strong but it doesn't matter and the back i cannot remove successfully without wasting the um the garlic ginger so i'm going to be blending everything together and turn it into a paste this is a garlic that i have already peeled by the way the back of this ginger is very healthy guys and then i have my chicken this is my chicken laps th chicken thighs i'm going to be cutting this and then preparing for my stew and then these are my meats these are beef in skin and all again and i'm going to be cooking prepping that for the week also so guys let's get started so we're starting out with our dried tomatoes i made a video a separate video um for this dried tomatoes so if you want to watch just the dried tomato video you i'm going to be linking that in this video i'm also prepping my beans i've allowed these beans to soak for a few hours and i'm just going to be rinsing and um, cooking it now it's time to cook my chicken and I've put my chicken, onion, salt, curry, thyme, make spices, cloves, and a little bit of star anise. I discovered star anise recently, and guys, it is very, very good for your body. Um, I've put my pepper and crayfish mix. It is very good for your body, and you can use it, but very, very little quantities. Otherwise, the taste is can overpower your meals so i've added my dried tomatoes into my pot i'm going to be letting this cook with every other thing that i'm going to be cooking it with guys I love I love to batch cook. Um, before now, I used to batch cook um, every week, and it used to stress me out a lot. And I used to wonder how people who go to weddings and you know events on Saturdays were coping. But since I started to do this meal prep and batch cook, I cook my soups and stews the bulk of it once a month now and then the rest of the weekends I have smaller meals to do and that makes my life easier. I'm frying my chicken now and i'm going to be cooking this my stew with the stew base i have with batch cooking or meal prepping every morning i make fresh meals for my family and this is how it is possible because i already have prepped these ingredients over the weekend this is my dried tomatoes cooking if you if you have a full-time job just like i do or you are a stay-at-home mom or a um a mom who works from home or a man or a guy whoever it is i mean doing these things little things makes a lot of difference for you and your family i've added my curry thyme mixed spices and then i'm stirring this is basically what i do whenever i want to use my stew base because i didn't add them um at the initial stage i just need to saute my oil onions and all of that and then less than 10 15 minutes okay let's say 20 minutes because you still have to fry your chicken or something if you have not already done that and i've added my meat stock and then that's it guys this is how simple it is to make stew because i've already fried the um um the ingredients i've added my seasoning cubes now and my meat stock yeah i'm going to be topping up with um, a little bit more water just to get everything cooking and all nice I put in my chicken and guys this is how cool it feels I've tasted for salt this is my meat I usually prep my meat every other weekend because of storage space so I do maybe one week or two worth of meat depending on how we, we, the amount of meat we have in the freezer i've added all the ingredients i need i usually use base ingredients that even if i use it for my soup or stews i want to um, 
feel i won't really notice it so i use the universal like time even if i have to use curry very little um seasoning cube salt um and all of that you know just like that basic and then when it's done i will just separate the meat from the stock and then freeze the rest that's what i do and then every night before i go to bed i bring out the meat and the meat stock the meats and then it's too basic for the jollof rice i'm making pasta I just bring it out and allow it to talk for the next morning. I'm cooking rice, which we're going to be having for lunch. And this, guys, most of batch cooking I do takes a couple of hours if I meal prep. And then I just need to mix everything together and just keep going. In the future, I hope to get a bigger cooker because this I have basically just two cookers. I have one cam gas that I use for emergencies when I run out of gas. Yes. So, but uh, I'm limited to two because the cam gas, because of my children, I try not to use it because of um, it's an open fire kind of thing and it's low. So, um, hopefully I get bigger, a bigger cooker that can take as many pots, up to four at least. Um, yeah, because I don't use the electric part of it. So, I've, I'm cooking my okra now. I've added all my ingredients, including my iru, smoke, um, smoke banla, my meat, and then my curry and my pepper and crayfish mix. And I've added a little bit of baking soda just to get it to draw a little bit. <laughs> you know, you want to maintain that, draw it so that it's not after, so that it's not after you know, maybe one time or so, it now looks, um, starts to separate or something like that. So I'm putting some water now for my zobo to get going. I like to make zobo. And I like to have it handy for some juicing. I'm adding my cloves to this um, so that we will not have to. And then my pineapples. So I won't have to drink um, soda or all those drinks that are not good for your body. And this is my ayamase. I have there on ripe tatashi and some green bell peppers, which I am using. And that's it. Um, um, then here I have my ginger garlic. That I'm just using my food processor to blend because I don't really like to make it smooth. This is easier for me so that when I bring it out in the mornings, even if I don't forget, I don't remember to thaw it, it's still easy for me to access. And then here is my tomatoes. These tomatoes are expected, or this batch is expected to last me for up to six weeks because i will supplement with some tin tomatoes guys and then my emma say i'm going to just freeze because i'm not ready to prepare it today and that's it guys this is my beans that is well cooked and i can use it for anything i use for the week this is for the week this is my meat stock which is also going to be frozen and i'm going to use as i like yes and then i have my uh, stew that is ready to go we're gonna be cutting up some vegetables or should i say salad or coleslaw to use to eat and then my tomato mix which we're going to be using for our stews jollofs or anything that we need tomato mix for and then we'll have okra which is going to complement the soups we already have my onions left over i'm going to freeze the beef i'm going to freeze this zobo will let it cool for now and then when we're ready, when it's cool, we finish the process. And then I have my ayama base, which I'm going to use for my ofada sauce. I have my ginger and garlic going, and then my pepper and crayfish mix. Yes, and then our rice. That's it, guys. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and then share with your friends. I'll be seeing you guys in another video. See you next time. Bye.